Hey YouTube, how's it going? Buster here. Yeah, well, I did it again. Got another base. So I seen this up on Gumtree. Uh, I think it was last week. And I'd obviously spoke to Mad Malco about it. There was another one for sale, an actual one, maybe about a month ago that we both seen. We were talking about this one came up for a better price. I'm kind of glad I got this one. Because the guy that I got it from has got another base that he's going to keep for me. So I'll probably get that in a week or two. Uh, so it's quite handy. He's not posted that one up for sale yet. So he's got not gone. Because I've obviously put my wee tab on it. So I'm forgetting that in a, a couple of weeks. So this is an Ibanez ATK 200. Well, for what I read, it could be it could be an ATK two hundred or three hundred. I, I can't, I don't know. I think it might be a three hundred because the ATT the ATK two hundreds, all the ones that I've seen has only got a volume and tone and a different pickup. It's always the the three hundreds that have got this pickup, which I'll tell you more about this shortly. So yeah, limited edition so double O. Three piece rock hard Canadian maple neck, rosewood fretboard, Wilkinson tuners. This is 04, so it's a 2004 model. Uh, later on, they changed the truss rod adjuster to the top of the neck. This one's still got the truss rod adjuster here. Pickup is amazing in this, active. So it's got a three band EQ, so bass, middle, treble, master volume and a selector switch. The selector switch goes from either moving it because it's three real, basically it's a humbucker with three real pickups in it. So you either go front real, middle real, or bridge real. I'm eventually going to, I think I'm going to try and get it so I can get the whole pickup on it at one time. So have another switch, when you switch it, it'll turn the whole pickup on because I think that might sound kind of cool <laughs> so yeah I've opened it up I've had a look I thought when I first seen it I thought it would be outside pickup when you flicked it forward back pickup a bridge pickup when you flicked it this way and middle would be the whole pickup but it's not when I've opened it up you can actually see that if the selector is for each rail so it's not an option to have the whole lot in one go which I think may be a good option so that may be happening to this uh, the bass, middle, treble are notched so you can feel when they're in the centre. It takes the battery strung through. Uh, this bridge is, is I think, uh, this kind of era, uh, Ibanez, I think they, were, they decided they put as much metal on the bass as they could because the, the Jet King's exactly the same. That bridge and that Jet King's is probably the same amount of metal as on this. I've not totally stripped it down and looked yet, I've not even changed the strings because it plays nice as is. So I've not changed the strings yet. Uh, I've cleaned the fretboard a, wee, a, a little bit. Had to clean the pickup, there's sticky residue on the pickup. So I had to take the strings off and clean that. Apart from that, it's uh, pretty cool. But what I will do while I'm talking to you, is I'll take the, I'll take the scratch plate off because I kind of like it without the scratch plate. So I'll do this while I'm talking to you. Uh, yeah, another, I was down at a, a shop, Southside Music in Glasgow, which is in Cathcart Road. Uh, the guy in there's amazing, amazing guy. Uh, very knowledgeable. Got loads of vintage guitars. So if you're ever looking for a vintage guitar, Southside Music, Glasgow, Cathcart Road. Yeah, uh, I said I'd give him a shout out in the video. He's got a. Uh, 1969 uh, Gibson short scale SG base for sale, 1400 quid. Uh, he's got a 1969 SG guitar for sale that would probably sell, and he's also got a hardtail uh, Fender Stratocaster, which is very rare. He said he'd not really want to sell it. I'm sure if you're in there and offer them a good price for it, I'm sure he would uh, take it. 
So yeah, so check out Southside Music, Cathcart Roads. The only bad thing about that, him is, <laughs> he doesn't open until about half one, two o'clock. So don't go there early if you're going to go, but go and check him out. Uh, he's got loads of, as I said, loads of vintage guitars. He's got a lot of new stuff. Uh, he can order the guitars in. But he's a really nice guy. And obviously we, we lock down stuff like that. I don't know. He's no struggling, but it, it'd be, he likes to have... It'd be nice for people who go into his shop. So if you ever get a chance in South Sea of Glasgow, Cathcart Road, uh, go and check out uh, South Side Music. There's also another new shop as well. I was going to have a look at it. He seems to be quite a nice guy on further up Cathcart Road. Uh, the wee guitar company. So I'll give him a wee shout out as well. He's got some uh, more kind of your stuff. So, yeah. That's it with the scratch, but I think it looks pretty cool with the scratch plate, so I don't know if I'm going to leave it like this or not. The only bit of damage it's got is there's a nick here on the body. But to be fair, that apart from that, that's it's, it's quite nice. And this is my first, uh, first through body string. So I, I've never had what a, a guitar that's been through strung before. This is the first one. So it's a really nice guitar. Uh, as I said, online a lot of people were calling it basically Music Man Killer. Because it's it's really it's a really nice bass. So what I'll do is volume up uh, three band EQ, everything at twelve, middle position, the selector. So because it's a music man killer, I need to obviously do that. Base, uh, BX 4500H, which is uh, through the 1x15 through the 4x12, uh, iPhone 12. So it's, this is the, f the full humbuckers on. <coughs> and yeah, so it's three rail. You can see that. Three rail. Uh, 
music man style pickup. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's really a really nice bass. So I can see that, it looks really nice with the, the scratch plate. So this is my new addition to the bass, the Ibanez ATK or the Attack bass. Uh, serial number 04, as I said. So this is about the same kind of era, or this one's the same era as the Jet King. It's in the same cat. I had to look at the catalogue, it's in the same catalogue. So I don't know where to this, keep the scratch plate on it, or keep it off, I don't know. I've decided yet. It looks quite cool without the scratch plate though. So there you go. So that's the attack. I think this is a 300. Because as I said, when I was looking at other other pictures and stuff, the, the, the attack 200 only had a volume and tone, didn't have the active circuit. So I think this is the 300. Limited edition, soda blue, ash body, solid. Really nice colour as well. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Uh, I will obviously keep it for a while. Uh, play it, see how it goes. And then, I don't know what happened that. Yeah, so I've I tuned this down to drop D because I was doing the the old uh, Rage Against Machines. <laughs> Check out Southside Music and Cathcart Road, especially if you're looking for some vintage stuff. Uh, he's probably got stuff that people are looking for because the stuff he was showing me the other day was. He's got a lap steel guitar <coughs> that <coughs> the same year and brand that Dave Gilmore played. He's got that. He's got an Italia bass. Uh, he's up he's selling for a friend. What else did he show me? The, it's quite strange, he's got the 69 Strat, a brown sunburst, hardtail, strung through. A, he's got the 69 SG guitar, which is hanging up the wall. He's got the 69 SG bass short scale. <coughs> uh, there's a few guitars he showed me when I was in there the other day. Oh, so if you're looking for a vintage guitar, go and check him out because he's probably got it. He's got a few. So yeah, go and check him out. Go and check out the wee guitar company on Cathcart Road as well, which is further up. Uh, I'm sure that's Cathcart Road. He's on. Yeah, I think it's Cathcart Road he's on. Uh, yeah, go and check them out if you're looking for a vintage guitar. I've, I've said to the guy in Southside Music, he needs to get online. Put a website up or do something on Facebook because one, nobody really knows he's there, and the people who do know he's there, he doesn't turn up till later on in the day. So if you go there in the morning, you're not there, you think his shop shut, it doesn't open till like half one, two o'clock. He's got loads of stuff, fit a lot of vintage stuff. So if you're looking for a vintage guitar, go definitely go and check him out. Uh, so yeah, I picked this up last night, no really done much to it, tuned it, gave it a quick clean, had to clean the pickup, so it's straight through body. Uh, straight through strong construction. Uh, yeah, soda blue limited edition. I think I want to keep the scratch plate off it actually because it looks really cool without the scratch plate. Just pity about this thing here. That's about the only thing. But, but I'll try and do something with that. Try and uh, see if my daughter's got a nail varnish, you see, a nail varnish the same colour as this. And, yeah, you see it's. You see the three pieces of maple, if you can see that. 
to the next very similar to the Jet King. Headstock's very similar to Jet King as well. So yeah, really nice space. Yeah, uh, quite rare actually, especially this colour, the rare. Obviously, uh, all guitars are open to offers, so if you like any guitars that I've got, then make an offer. <laughs> if I don't want to sell it, I'll not sell it. But uh, the only one that I'll definitely not sell is the P, uh, P bass and maybe the vintage modified Telecaster uh, bass. But I'm saying if somebody offers me the right money, it, everything's, everything could be for sale. <laughs> so yeah, I'll play about with this today for a while. I'm going to work out the, the wiring to see if I can try and get this so it's the full pick up on it at one go. Uh, might strip it, clean it, or the new set of strings for it. The strings are actually right, they're not dead or anything. Uh, they, they look relatively new. Action's really, action's really nice on this though, I don't, so I don't want to really mess about it just now. Yeah, yeah, really nice guitar. So if you ever get a chance at one of these, definitely, I'd pick it up. Uh, he's got another one, the guy I've got this off, he's actually got two of these, he's got an actual one, which is the, the attack, it's either the 500 or 800 he's got, because Ivan has got them in ranges. So that's why I think this is the attack 300, because the 200, every 200 that I've seen has only got the volume, volume and tone. As I said, the 300 has got the active VQ system, a different pickup as well. So yeah, really nice bass. Uh, attack. As I said, the headstock is other ones, the same shape, but the attack's different. It doesn't say attack on the front, just says Ibanez and the attack's at the back. But then you've also got the one that says Ibanez attack uh, to the side here somewhere. So there's different variants of this. I think, I think they started in 1995, started making these. And they stopped making them think 2006 so this is a this is kind of right in the middle really hardly enough in the middle uh, i think this was the one <laughs> i think it, these this this one the red one was a limited edition one to see if they would sell anymore and obviously after 2004 they, nobody really bought them so i think it discontinued them two years later so i think that's why this you get a limited edition blue and red one was to see if they could sell more of them, and obviously they didn't, so they discontinued it. I'm only guessing at that, I don't know if that's true or not. So, yeah, that's another bass, so no doubt, I'll maybe have another bass next week to do a video on. If not, I'll need to think of something else to do. Uh, yeah, so that's the Iron Days attack. So, hope you like the video. Have a nice week. Carry on.